Today I got a uh, exotic brand of cookies <clears throat> for which I was told under MK Ultra I was really happy to have this. Um, right now I am so <sighs> kind of exhausted and lazy. I don't even feel to stand up and walk to the drawer to demonstrate you this stuff. Um, I ate a, a lot actually, really not exactly half of it, but not much from half of it. Uh, yeah, half of it I would say I did. Um, <clears throat> what I stated about exhaustion makes sense. Anyhow, I am going to walk to the drawer to demonstrate you where I found them. Here, boom, like this. <clears throat> And it's where mom stated to me during MK Ultra. Don't you see how he's kneeling? This will kill you. There was another stuff that I got in there. It was the stuff like this. And this one here was in a lower drawer like that. There were two of them inside. I finished already. And they were really delicious. They had some kind of chocolate cream inside. I really enjoy them. I enjoyed them because I never see this. The only time I have ever seen this before was during MK Ultra. This goes, both of this go into exotic category, in a category of the exotic bakery. And this kind of bakery was used to support what mother prepared yesterday is, uh, let me see if I can find a trace of it. <laughs> Probably only in a trash bin. And not this one. She prepared a giant jaw of... Uh, <clears throat> too late. Uh, I won't be capable to prove anything right now. But you can take my word for it. She prepared, she frequently prepares like a giant jar of uh, le, le cream, sweet stepped cream, uh, you know, milk product, I don't know, 25% fat, whatever it is. And she also prepared a full plate of um, rice cake. No, it was a rice cake. And, well, she also prepared soup, chicken soup and chicken. Uh, and because this shit went on all the fucking time, I had the opportunity to learn basically what they were doing. What... They were doing all along during the poisoning, what type of system was used, why this, why this kind of food was used in addition to my being poisoned, uh, what exactly they wanted to accomplish with this kind of food. What they, they wanted to accomplish, to go straight to this issue, uh, I ended up mixing uh, cream, sweet cream. Uh, how do you say that? When you put inside of the coffee, you know, like cream. Um, with rice cake, uh, but, but after I finished a soup and chicken, uh, and I ate myself almost to infinity to unconscious. So to go back and finish, what they wanted to accomplish with this stuff? Well, a colon cancer, intestine cancer, basically is how you you get done with what I demonstrated you right now. Um, a cream is used to kill the surface of intestines, uh, kill all the good bacteria and everything, choke absolutely everything. And it's so efficient because it sticks. It took me 
I couldn't, for the hell of it, I could not wash the dish over there. I used three different, uh, like, buckets that I would put inside and let it sit so that it would take away that, uh, where it sticks to it, that stain, basically, from the cream. So you can imagine what it does when it gets into your colon, into your intestines, basically. It covers up everything with 100% death. Um, cream, milk, that kind of stuff is especially bad also for um, if you have a problem with the cirrhosis, uh, for your either kidneys or especially liver, it's a, it's a death. It's a death sentence. However, um, if there is a way, I learned, because they did this stuff so many times, and I had no clue. I studied what they were doing, how it all works. And I learned that if you use certain things, some of which are actually even controversial, bad, uh, in a mixture of that, you can break through that stain of death uh, and even use one to your advantage. There is a, such a thing that body is turning things into a chemicals. Uh, certain components that are rather beneficial to the body. Uh, Skisanya, it's a special process in the body and it's like in everything else that if you can cause it will actually turn into bacteria and will eventually you can even profit from within um, so what I did was I mixed that stuff at the end when I was finished with some salad and with uh, multivitamins that kind of stuff I did so it's because of C vitamin, etc., etc., it kind of turned into sour, basically adding to certain issues in the body uh, and rather leaving me completely poisoned. I got myself a nice 10 hour of sleep today. That's like really nice. Uh, but if you don't know what you're doing about this stuff, one day I'm going to take time and I'm going to put. Maybe even on another channel, I don't know, the ways to survive this kind of stuff. But here's the deal. The second day when this trooper comes on a table, I remember when psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was feeding me with this. He would buy this quite often after he realized just how deadly this was. And I did too during MK Ultra. When... He fed me with this kind of stuff, especially with this one. I think this was actually worse than that. And I don't know if it gets worse than chocolate cookies like this. But um, I don't know why this had a very, very bad impact on me. I could, during MK Ultra, feel just that blood pressure I was talking to you about. Just going like, shh, basically, and just shh feel like a shit basically so what you see we have a pattern of yesterday uh, with that creamer cream destroying the colon annihilating all the bacteria, etc that's what, basically that's what I thought uh, and it's also proportion of This is a white meat from the chicken that's left from yesterday. I'm going to use the full potential. Um, very important, the proportion of carbohydrates you consume with proportion of proteins and other stuff. Uh, ratio of this in your body, that's what plays a very, very important role. If you want to play already with a, a creamer, and with the sweets and that kind of stuff, if you already want to play with that kind of stuff. And uh, physicians that were involved, the YouTubers, the guys that are looking for the um, algorithms, 
add their videos on the top and that's what they have used this case uh, to promote their videos and so on uh, I'm not gonna have no fucking debate with me about any of this stuff you know I'm doing this basically to beat depression I'm not doing this for the fuck of a, for the fun of it to have a discussion with you what's healthy and what's not healthy you're fucking insane because none of this stuff was my food ever my food, as I already told you about, is located right here. It's about, uh, I don't know if you can see it still. I can see the, the light in it. A river, basically, right there, is what I ate the food my entire life from. And if it was not from there, I would eat the food from the fish stores and so on. Uh, none of this stuff ever applies to me, so this is... This is a fucking Alice of Wonderland for the psychiatrists and for some crazy freaks that represent uh, basically are on a pay scale of London, like hired basically assassins for hire basically to murder people, that kind of stuff. These are assassins. These are not. This 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 is not about psychiatrist. This is not psychiatrist. This is not. This is a fucking psychopath. It's a maniac, it's a lunatic. It's a deranged lunatic that is doing everything possible to get me killed. There's no doubt about that stuff. So we are not going to have any kind of discussions about how or what or will we be or this and that. Um, depression. This, is, this here is a fucking depression. What I'm holding in my hands is being used basically to cure depression and it is as British royals did not know how to properly express themselves but they did poverty accumulates poverty basically and then you can imagine what kind of poverty the fuck this is talking about what these people have inside of their brain inside of their heads to go and hire police psychiatrists to get poor bastard murdered in another country after depriving him of life in the u.s his citizenship his profession as educated for destroyed absolutely everything every employment ban him from any kind of not earning but even blocking his youtube view counters This is what this shit is. So you want to discuss about what the fuck is this, what's healthy and what's not healthy, what the fuck you're doing. I'm going to tell you what the fuck you're doing. What you were doing is you were boosting all along colon cancer, intestine cancer, and you were curing depression, which I don't know anybody that could go past other than by using drugs basically needles marijuana god knows what to beat one uh and whatever poison you're using basically you throw on a table to the person so that he could choke with that one cure that one use that as a cure for his depression basically so this is what this is this this shit is what this stuff is this is how they do it this is what they did during mk ultra this is basically what they are doing pathetic when i said uh i didn't say but this is as pathetic as it gets i never liked these people from london really uh i didn't like them fact of the matter is the people from the big cities i'm gonna make trouble to myself here but people from the big cities are sick i never liked people from the big cities because it's a lot of mental illness that goes around it's all kinds of issues that people experience in these big cities and then what they do is they continue to bite one another but since i had to like this people and since they entered the picture Basically, since I was born, 
for many reasons, I still didn't like them for the reasons that I stated here. Because you, peop, these people, you give them something good and they always return with the shit. It's like, it seemed to me like they get the energy out of what you give is, you give something good and in return they give you something that will fuck you basically, that will get you down on the next level uh, and it makes them feel good actually because you have a cancer or you have whatever you have you suffer from uh, because why would you have if I cannot have kind of attitude uh, because you know I don't like this kind of stuff man uh, I was always trying to, you know, and this is the fucking thing. It's like you throwing away your heart. It's like you throwing away yourself, basically, for a complete garbage. Literally. My mother follows the protocol from MK Ultra. She does the job, whatever she is poised, basically, to do. This here, this is the soup she prepared and the way she prepares this stuff is that you don't actually even see what you see here now this shit this is all mayonnaise and probably fat from the pig god knows what the fuck this is and was well, similarly to stuff that i demonstrated you basically cover your intestines into uh you just kill all the bacteria off because the mushrooms are really beneficial but the mushrooms aren't gonna get any breakthrough for you because it's they're being killed in that shit soup right there you're not gonna make it with them through what's funny is there's only a handful of mushrooms in there really won't make no fucking difference for you if you consume that stuff with what I demonstrated you this is healthy stuff that you have seen is not healthy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash this over and over and over again Till eventually I'm going to get a clean mixture of delicious mushrooms otherwise. This is basically like completely, completely calculated stuff. The psychiatrist Peter Kapsch prided himself with the patterns, you know, with the patterns. And that's like a, like a very, very deadly pattern that I demonstrated you. If you go through that pattern and you don't know what the fuck you're doing, uh, you you are fucking dead. Uh, you you won't stand the chance. So I'm gonna finish a few of this with multivitamins. Um, and we'll make sure now. I did gain a lot of weight because of this stuff. You see, the problem is with this kind of stuff is that you don't, when they do, what they did to me with this kind of stuff, the biggest problem with it is that you don't know what the fuck is going on. And you're going from one issue to another like crazy. Uh, thinking about the brainwash. What is good for you and what is not good for you? This is mushrooms are very good for you, but the way they are prepared are going to fuck you up. They're going to make you more damaged than good. And the goal of this MK Ultra bestiality that British embraced was basically a play with the sanity also. Uh, play with the sanity. That's with the depression, right? To keep somebody right on the fucking edge that you can tip him over anytime, basically. I already explained to you what the goal is. 
I mean, that's what the goal is. This is what this is about. This is what this is how this stuff is done. Or even provide for one a magic cure based on we told you, we told you what is good and what no good and this and that. Yeah, yeah. That's what this is. That's what this was about. Smart people, knowing it all, in the land of uh, a kind of a Walt Disney, basically, but really created for the sake of the psychiatrists and the physicians, doctors, basically nutritionists, uh, like a super candy bar, basically, for them to, you know, discuss issues and that's what they were doing all along. They were discussing the issues and testing the drugs. Got drugs that were used basically to reduce, not to stiffen, but to reduce stiffened cardiovascular heart. Basically, uh, they would give me injection basically for the heart to be released even. So that means that I definitely suffered during MK Ultra also cardiovascular arrests, cardiac arrests. Uh, you know, what the fuck would you have anything you would want to add to this stuff other than in 2013 you threw me into the psychiatric hospital? Basically, place me a gag over my mouth basically you put me a gag a deadliest gag on my mouth basically like this while keeping me jobless so that you can have your world disney basically your fucking disney psychiatric disneyland inside of this house that you barricaded yourself with police and enforce your ways basically i don't uh, i i had never you know Folks from the big cities, basically London, mm, I would not consider that as a, you know, any kind of big city, you know, I would not consider that as a way of life. Um, not everything is wrong with the people from the back, from the big cities, um, but really everything is when it comes to kingdom. When you have a king, uh, the justice, as they call one, the karma, doesn't get through in absolutely any way when you have a king in your country. In a big city, there's a lot of karma going on, too. It's all kinds of stuff that goes on. Um, but I think it's like more mental illness that people hand to one another. They basically tip from hand to hand to one another. I'm not a fan of the big cities. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with the big cities. With a glitch, with a glimmer, I'm not impressed with it. I'm just not impressed with that stuff. With people I have seen over the course of decades coming and getting their shoes dirty inside of the forest or even torn apart for they didn't have money like royals they would get all upset and angry and um, eh, I don't want to get into <clears throat> that's a magnesium and the multivitamins I already had them <clears throat> the British royals, Prince William and Prince Harry, insisted that if I'm going to liken them to psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, uh, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, uh, I will liken them to a serial killers. And the two boys insisted me, saying to me, uh, they want to be capable to help me, therefore. And the two boys further insisted me 
uh, on whatever I'm going to manage to basically, in other words, avoid, you know, as far as the poison delivered into the house, cooking and so on. It's basically what I am will be profit from within within the coming coming years when I will have the money abundance of, abundance of money uh, and that's how much better my quality of life will be. They were giving me like really 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 motivational speeches. I just didn't know who the fuck they were talking to. I wasn't sure were they fucking talking to me or were they talking to. I wasn't sure who the hell were they talking to. It didn't make any fucking sense because whom the fuck were they talking to? Somebody who was hijacked from Miami, from United States of America, so that butcheries could take place inside of this house where police would barricade itself where Illuminati meetings will be taking place for like 25 years plus. I don't understand who the hell were they talking to, basically, who, whom the hell were they talking to? Somebody who, what? Somebody about whom? They uh, got my American citizenship destroyed? Whom exactly were they addressing? Me? How do you get connection? How do you get me to see myself in you when you ruined me, even American citizenship? When you did everything possible, I could not get political asylum in Canada, where I went to apply, in Germany, where I went to apply, in Belgium, where I went to apply, in Norway, in Sweden. These are not part of the Eastern Bloc, are they? Couldn't stay in Austria, basically, because of you. You are hijacking me from Austria, from Norway, from Sweden, so that you could deliver me to these people here, from Germany, from asylum, where I filed for where the hell do you get the connection where do you get a connection here my seeing myself in you and you're being different basically from them like in what sense would that be the case here in this case they are on your pay list. You listed them. You pay them a fucking money. Not directly. You never pay directly, of course. Such a stuff just doesn't happen. But Slovenian police gets the money from the government. Slovenian government got technology from you. Drones, all kinds of stuff. Reduced costs, weaponry. Not only for Slovenia, but also for the Russia and so on and so forth. Where the fuck do you get idea that I wouldn't see you in them when you actually so enjoyed with your people, British uncles and fathers, father enjoy so much about... Your father wanted to publish the book about the fucking natural treatment, cures, um, homopathy, on subject of a homopathy. Remember? Where do you get idea about your being any different for basically handing over the pay stubs, the paychecks, to the assassins that you hire to do the stuff like this. Where do you get idea for me to see you in a different light than them? You are the most murderous creatures in this world. Everybody knows. 
I know too. For anybody out there that find himself in a similar situation, if you find yourself in a similar situation, don't travel abroad and try to uh, file for, for political asylum in any country out there because the, they use the political influence connections to get you preferably killed when you are abroad so that they are not seen on a basically you know they're not on a spotlight they don't want to be on a spotlight they always are in a shadow they don't want to be on a spotlight they always want to remain in a shadow that's all there is about this british sickness from london it's a lot <laughs> that kind of stuff the sweets i demonstrated you this kind of stuff here that you see all this kind of stuff here did you see this this was supported by my being dared they dared me this to eat this during mk ultra they dared me the words to me during mk ultra were we gonna see well we gonna see we gonna see we gonna see and it's this kind of stuff that extended all the way to the chips uh, chips in Slovenian language is not as in English, I think. And it would go to the baked potatoes, however, that look like this. This kind of stuff, like this, you know, this kind of stuff. It's not the same in Slovenian language. They dared me, the Serbs. dared me inside of this house about this kind of stuff they were making fun of me suggesting me that in slovenia a sugar uh sugar is imported from the serbia the best one is from the serbia they claim me but you're not going to be allowed to afford yourself one <laughs> As for the sweet uh, sweet cream, whipped cream basically is what is in English. It's a whipped cream. The Serbs Vrhnje. This one will kill you. This was Serbian president Aleksandar Vucic he was excited about that stuff <laughs> if you will Vrhnje, Vrhnje will kill you <laughs> he was crazy about poisoning he was a lunatic he was obsessed with it oh this was like for him this was like wow Wow, hey, this guy was just losing his fucking mind. Like he had a fucking orgasm whenever he witnessed poisoning, whenever he was present. And he saw the results of whether I would consume sugar or uh, whipped cream or something like this. This is the guy here. But it was a Prince William who who was the one who insisted the chips not the one in slovenia not in the one in slovenia but in britain the way we have remember the one we give you in when you come to the britain when you come to the britain that's a healthy one with the fish uh, chips and fish not the way they in slovenia with you so they wanted me to pick basically the sides they wanted me to pick the sides with British basically financing the one in Slovenia so that I would be picking the sides. They were basically handling me to one another for beating, for torture, for killing. Like you hot, like you handle a potato, like a hot potato. It's like you pay the sucker ball with a human life for no less than 52 years. What started with a mother queen Queen Elizabeth 
Prince Philip went on with Prince Charles, Andrew, Anne, Edward, Prince William, Prince Harry, and even with the new kids, George, that came on a... So do you see how many generations of shit, of garbage this is? The mighty people with so much money like this doing a swinery like this. Now you understand, you understand what this is. I came to conclusion yesterday about the whole thing, what's going on, what they're doing. Because this isn't even, I don't, I refuse to talk here about the gang stalking. The gang stalking is what flooded the internet, everything about gang stalking and, you know, this is not gang stalking. This is something else. This is not, I realize this is not guest lighting. This doesn't have anything to do with the guest lighting. This is about driving individual mad completely, proving him that everything he does in life is purposeless. Till eventually he gets mad, till he eventually drowns in a madness. As for this should be no recommendation for the International Criminal Court or European Court for Human Rights or United Nations that kept silent about this stuff. It's embarrassing for you that you have actually complied with this degree of... Uh, it's not insanity, it's not even madness. This is extermination. To with this degree of extermination, as you know, on December the 9th, I was now 52 years old. 52 years old. When I came to Britain, they threw me this plate out of anger. They were angry when they gave me the food like this. Even the food that they gave me, they told me how expensive this is. I don't know, 20 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever, in their stores. Because they wanted, not because they would be evil, the employees, they did this stuff. And I ate, because what the fuck are you going to do? Drugged up. They didn't have a bad intentions, these Britons, they did to me this stuff. Because I remember they told me, uh, so that you can talk about the river that you have right behind the house that you used to eat from. And basically, you know, they gave me the comparison, basically the fresh fish that, you know, I was catching, eating, and basically what my life has turned into. Because this is what the pay was, basically like this. The pay was, I've seen here, I've also seen here, and it's where I would go and eat it's some kind of a <clears throat> fish restaurant in Britain uh, that is that was created by the black community or something like this. The pay was what you see here. You would have a guy like this with some background from, I don't know, whatever by a background, it doesn't matter. And what they would do is they would uh, subject me to uh, humiliation in front of the people from diverse culture, from diverse, with a, with a, to people with diverse background. That's how they gave me that fish when I was delivered, drugged up to the Britain, uh, so that they could apologize their colonialist era, basically, in the face of these people, and would more liken themselves to uh, what they... Like, for instance, this is the shop I used to eat from, and these are the two girls that were involved in MKUltra. And I was basically cursed at 
when I was handed the food. You know, um, I was seen in a, I don't know what it means, black country institution for almost 50 years. I have no idea what it means. I know they talked to me about this and I did not even go and read this over and so on because to me it didn't make any fucking sense. To me it made sense what was inside of those bags and it was some good looking chick and that's all that mattered to me basically during MK Ultra. But it mattered to the royals, the British from London, from the Buckingham Palace so that they could look good basically in the eyes of these people and their community as much as as possible by engaging in a torture and demonstrated me from abroad, from elsewhere, is uh, basically themselves posing to me as a more normal option, more acceptable and so on, you know, just like the chips in British, you know, the chip in Britain is basically a baked potato is what they, you know, insisted me, not like in Slovenia, you know, not like in Slovenia, never mind that I was a fisherman, a registered fisherman beginning my age four, that I was fishing with a father at my age four, who is now at age 92 on a deathbed over there, at the home for elderly people because of what British have also sponsored to be done on one over the course of last beginning since 2000. Never mind any of that stuff. Never mind any of that stuff. I am definitely much better off without actually having the money for even the fucking fishing license. Spending my life jobless, in fact, having one replaced with a psychiatry. I am now definitely better off. I'm going to say thank you very much to Britain.